Welcome to a new edition of the Everlast Power video series. Today, we'll cover a common technical question about our welders. Our customers typically ask about lengthening their cables and have concerns about the compatibility of the fittings. The good news is that we use standard DIN style connector fittings. Now, these fittings come in several sizes, but we use the two most common sizes, the 25 series and the 35 series. The diameter of the connector's pin is the easiest way to identify the difference. The 25 series is roughly 3 8 inch in diameter and the 35 series is half inch in diameter. Now we've covered some of these differences before in one of our other videos regarding the use of CK fittings on our units, but it's helpful to review this today because we're going to show you how to change out the fitting if you want to lengthen the stock leads for the stick welding feature or if you want to lengthen the 26 series torch cable with a two-piece design that has a solid copper power cable. To remove the cable for the first time, you will need to secure the brass connector pin with either a pair of pliers or secure it in a small vise. Be careful not to damage or mar the pin as this will affect the operation and could cause heating issues at the point of contact. A firm grip is necessary, but don't overdo it. You may need to experiment with several different tools before you find the right one. After the pin is secured, grip the rubber cover firmly and begin trying to pull it off. Start with a back and forth twisting motion. This is going to take some effort for the first time. As you wiggle and pull the rubber boot back, you'll notice several locating grooves that hold the boot on. Once these are clear, you shouldn't have an issue removing the boot. Underneath the cover, you'll find a simple set screw that holds the cable in. Take a hex key wrench and loosen the set screw. Next, remove the cable. You'll probably find a small piece of copper wrapped around the cable that's used as a shim. If you're lengthening the lead with a small cable, you'll want to make sure that you use a shim like this. If you don't have shim material, you can make a shim out of a soft piece of copper tubing that's split down the side. In this case, we're increasing the diameter of the cable so that it fills the cavity, so a shim is not necessary. Trim away the insulation only to the depth the cable will be inserted. Be careful not to cut into the copper itself. Be sure to twist any stray copper wires back into the braiding. Next, remove the boot from the old cable. At this time, install the new or salvage shim. On this cable, a shim is not necessary due to its large diameter. So simply slide the rubber boot down onto the connector. If the boot is too tight of a fit, take a knife and trim away the end of the boot to the next size joint. Now slide the brass part of the connector down onto the cable. Make sure the cable is fully bottomed out in the connector or the cable could come loose after it's tightened. If everything's been done correctly, the insulation should come to the edge of the connector. Next, tighten the set screw until the cable or cable and shim are fully compressed. You may have to tighten the cable and come back to it in a minute or two later and re-tighten it after everything is settled and compressed. The rubber boot has a couple of locating grooves which are offset. You must line these up before the boot can be slid back onto the main part of the connector. If you don't, the cover will not fit and it will likely prevent the connector from being inserted back into the welder. The cover should go on more easily than it came off. Push the cover forward until it snaps into place. When finished, the cover should be flush with the face of the connector. This concludes today's edition. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about changing your connectors or cable leads on any Everlast product, feel free to give us a call at the number listed above. Thanks for watching today's edition of the Everlast Power Video Series.